It's early morning and Mel's mouth is all set for a tasty breakfast treat, but it looks like someone else has had his bite to eat. No matter, a little cereal could hit the spot, but flakes on the floor, that's all Mel's got. It's plain to see that in Mel's happy house, there's an unwelcome visitor, a naughty old mouse. But that rude little rodent better get out while he can, because this is Mel McDaniel, the Mouse Trap Man. To date, I have 67 different things using the power of a very simple mouse trap. Um, I made a fishing contraption, um, a cannon, I've made a longbow. I can make almost anything with a mouse trap. Mel McDaniel was just a boy in South Africa when he began making his mouse trap gadgets. They were only toys to him then, long ago put away with other childish things. But after many years as a high-powered marketing executive, Mel left the rat race and rediscovered mouse traps and their endless possibilities. When I hold a mouse trap in my hand, uh, it's very limited. But by combining my imagination, combining uh, creativity and that kind of thing, and making it do a whole bunch of things, I think that is my biggest challenge. Now, it wasn't long before the cat was out of the bag, and word of Mel's amazing mouse traps had gotten out. But instead of turning his garage into some kind of mouse trap museum, Mel just packs up his traps and takes his wacky inventions on the road. I have over here a mousetrap cannon. <laughs> it is? They're called Mousetrap mouse Science Workshops, and they're the latest craze in science classes across North Texas. Seems kids can't get enough of Mel's homemade contraptions. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I have a countdown five. Four, three, three two, two, one. Oh. Do you see that? Oh. It's amazing how kids immediately latch on because I find that a mousetrap uh, has an intrinsic drawing. I hold up a mousetrap and the kids, I have their attention. I don't have to do anything else. It's hard to tell who's having more fun here, the kids or Mel himself. But these spectacular stunts are really just the bait to trap these students into a lesson in science. In a mousetrap, you have two kinds of energy. When the mousetrap is not loaded, you have something called potential energy. Say potential energy. <laughs> when it's released, uh, when I say to uh, students, hey, once you've got the functions and you've nailed down the functions, and when you've arrived there, then you are sitting in the driving seat of the most powerful weapon, the most powerful vehicle that there is on the face of the earth. Mouse trap science, well, it's catching on. In fact, here at Cleburne's Girard Elementary School, it's a true phenomenon. Known as trappers, these KG students are famous for their skill at a sport that only Mel could come up with something called mousetrap fireworks. By making a pair of legs with the clothespins, you stand um, a mousetrap up on its legs. Now the fireworks part works very much like domino falls. The suspense in that area, you can cut it with a knife because I've seen very composed headmasters do this. <laughs> they said, chew their nails. I couldn't believe it. And you find very composed teachers doing that and unfolding, unfolding because the tension is tremendous. Call him crazy or even obsessed, Mel certainly has a one-trap mind, but it's not focused on this little mechanical marvel. Mel is passionate about science and learning. Instead of building a better mousetrap, Mel McDaniel is building 
a better kid. I think we come back to the thought of not necessarily a new mousetrap, but an explored one. Take what we have and check it out. And I think there's a lesson in that for all of us.